There is no sense in building an architectural masterpiece on a sand dune. The view might be great, but it will be short-lived and very expensive. It might be part of our very nature that we have trouble admitting there are things we can't do. After some years of pushing that boulder up various hills, I came to realize there are certain immutable laws that define courses of action. I say that with reference to building a business, a relationship, or a career in officiating. It is that latter undertaking to which I offer the following observations. For my personal use, I have so far identified 13 immutable laws of officiating. Number one, the law of memory. The older you get, the better you were. Ever notice that with each telling of tales we become better and better officials? Memory is such a wonderful evaluation enhancer. Two, the law of respect. There are those who deserve receiving the benefit of the doubt from you. That is a gift to be earned, not dispensed gratuitously. Three, the law of response. When asked a question, if you choose to answer, do so tightly. Don't answer a question for which you do not have credible information. Answer questions, not statements. Four, the law of deference. Speak with courtesy. Your point will carry double its weight. If you are slapping them with your words, they can't be clearly heard. Five, the law of threats. Showdowns lead to show-ups. In either case, you will come out on the short end. When you threaten someone, you bargain from the position of weakness. Six, the law of belief. Call it the way it is. There was a time when we could call it the way we saw it. Today, that is found to be wanting. The justification of a call is now that you called it based on what you believed you saw. Replay slash review often serves as the final arbiter. Seven, the law of candor. Mistakes are made. The acceptance of that and the corollary of admittance and administration force you to humbleness. That is new territory for many. Eight, the law of eavesdropping. When you put your words into the digital realm, you own them. Nine, the law of cleanliness. If you have to think whether something might be a conflict of interest, consider it so. One breath of scandal freezes much honorable sweat. 10, the law of the latter. It is all about not making things worse. Seldom will you get the toughest, richest assignments because you scored 100% on your test. You will get them because the assigner slash coordinator believes you will not make things worse. The law of adaptation is number 11. When your horse dies, get off. If your approach to the game seems to result in less than satisfactory results, your methods have to change. You have to change before your results will change. You might believe that others have to do the changing. That is sort of like leaving a nightlight on for Jimmy Hoffa. 12. The law of ownership. You will be presumed arrogant. That is because you own the whistle. Powerful piece, that whistle. Your words and deeds must always define a less arrogant you. And 13. The law of wholeness. Every assignment is more than a game. It is a mosaic of responsibilities. With each piece of that mosaic comes the opportunity to enhance your stature as an official or exasperate those who are trying to rely on you. From acceptance slash confirmation, through game report filing, from arriving at the site to leaving the area, your professional, thoughtful best is required. Thank you.